I think we can all agree, even numbers are great, but have you tried three-even numbers? You may have heard this phrase, two is the only even prime number, which of course is true in as much as prime numbers by definitions are the numbers that are only divisible by themselves and one. So of course all the prime numbers live among the numbers that are not divisible by two, other than two itself. Similarly, if you divide up all the numbers into three-even, the numbers that are divisible by three, and throd numbers, the numbers that are not divisible by three, all of the prime numbers, other than three itself, live among among the throd numbers. Unlike odd numbers, however, there are actually two totally separate universes of throd numbers. There are the numbers that I call throd up, those are the ones that are one greater than a multiple of three, and then there are the numbers that are throd down, those are the numbers that are one less than a multiple of three. Of course, all the primes live among the throd up and throd down numbers, but if you start to keep track of which primes are throd up versus which ones are throd down, something weird starts to happen. Number theory would suggest to us that there should be no particular bias. There should be in some sense just as many throd up prime numbers as there are throd down prime numbers. But if you start counting from two, you find that for a very long time, there are always more throd down prime numbers than there are throd up prime numbers. We can look at this in terms of what is called a prime spiral, where we're going to color all the throd down numbers in blue and all the throd up numbers in this kind of pinkish color. As we let our prime numbers spiral further and further out, you can see that for a long time, the blue spiral is somewhat more dense than the pink spiral. In fact, it takes us until about 608 billion to ever get to a point where there are more throd up prime numbers than there are throd down prime numbers. This doesn't actually mean that number theory is broken, but it does mean that sometimes weird things happen. And just because you don't get some kind of significant change in the first 100,000 million billion numbers doesn't mean that whatever that pattern you've noticed will just go on forever and ever. Whether you personally prefer throd up or throd down prime numbers, 